Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul. We're going to be doing the Anomaly video this evening, and we're going to get that posted as soon as possible. So I uh, wanted to run you all through that, and as we wait for everything to boot up, want a couple of reminders out there for everybody. Don't forget that we're going to have a live stream on Saturday, somewhere around 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And also the special stream I keep mentioning to everybody. A special stream on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern. This coming August 2nd. Uh, we're going to have a special stream that day. We're going to be highlighting a brand new game that I have uh, been helping to beta test, and I'm looking forward to hopefully showing you that game. So this will be your headquarters for that game as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at my, I think this is one of my home planets. This is my alpha planet is what I call it. Um, and we're going to be doing the anomaly video. So let's go ahead and get this going. And off we go. And you know what? Just to make things a little bit more interesting, let's go ahead into the menu. And as you can see, our community research is beyond tier 1. We're into the tier 2 area. So that's a good thing. Um, let's go ahead into our network settings and make sure that we are enabled for multiplayer rather than disabled. That way we can see some of our fellow travelers in the Nexus. Or the Anomaly, as we call it. Alright. So who knows what our mission's going to be today? I guess we're about to find out, right? As I try to readjust my microphone. Sorry about that. Very good. Mouse. All kinds of people here today. All right. So here we go. Restore point. I might go back to a cape. I think I kind of like the cape better. Let's see what we got in here. Hey, excuse me, Lemon 14. We're in the Nexus. Roots of Aggression. Looks like we're eliminating Hazardous Flora again. So we're going to go ahead and go through that one. And let's see what we can do here. 1800 Quicksilver and three repair kits. Repair kits are very handy for repairing things in your uh, that, are get, that get broken, of course. Repairing things that get broken without having to use actual other items in your inventory. Like uh, if it needs phosphorus and chromatic metal and this and that and the other thing. You can actually get away with just using a repair kit to fix it. So those are kind of handy. Good to hang around. Or hang on to, I should say. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to initialize and start the mission, and yes. All right. Off we go. Contemplating life, is he? That's fantastic. All right, off we go. We're going to hunter killer the roots of aggression. So take this will take us to a new system as usual. And here we go. So hope everybody's week has gone very well. Uh, hopefully you all are doing okay. And if you've had a bad week, I'm so sorry. Uh, tune into my channel, watch a couple videos. Obviously, I've got a lot of uh, very soothing, calming videos. I don't get too excited about things, and hopefully they give you a nice, relaxing, uh, nice, relaxing uh, end to your day. If you will. All right, looks like it's heading towards this planet. So let's get lined up. I'm gonna scan it, see what we got here. Okay, just high sentinel activity, which means they could attack if they catch you trying to kill all these plants. So there's a possibility of that. We have dioxite here, so if you're running low on dioxite, pick some up while you're there. Activated indium is another item that's on this planet that you can uh, grab. Yeah, remember that back in the day, folks? Yeah, when activated indium was one of the most expensive items you could get. Now it's been nerfed to death, and it's not worth anything, so it is what it is. So here we are, approaching our wonderful planet. Oh, and it's mountainous too. Lovely. Not terrible. Oh, that's just not going to be fun to have to traverse this planet. Let's see if we can find some place to hang out here. I'm going to do a little something different here, so... Hold on a second. We'll come back. Let's take a peek. So... Lots of mountains in that area, right? So let's head for something that's not as mountainous. We're going to head for the coast over there. So they might be still mountainous. We'll have a lot of more level terrain to deal with. Yeah, that's better. 
Obviously water, but the water I'm not as concerned about. But just crazy, crazy tall mountains are just not my forte. I don't think we have anything around here. Let's check out and see what this is. But it's probably just a little bit of a... Yeah, it's just a little... Oh, huh, yeah. Some friends of ours are down there. Sentinels. We'll just land over here. All right. Lots of different hazardous plants out there. Let's see what this planet has. All right, let's see. We have that. Let's check out and see what that is. Okay, it's down there. It is... Ah, it's a snapper. Oh, and they got these bugs on the planet, too. Yeah, buddy, those are beetles. You can get... If you don't have any pets, grab one of those. They are very fast flyers. So these are the hazardous plants we're trying to go after here, okay? So that's what we want to do. Let's go ahead and make sure we're on the actual log that we're supposed to be on Roots of Aggression. Good. And you don't really need your weapons at all. So if you just want to switch over to your laser, your mining laser, it's more than enough to take these guys out. So we took out one. Oh, we got to the, go to the Fallen Traveler. Of course we do. My bad. Learn from me. Um, anybody see where I put it? There we are. Okay, good. I know this is recorded. Shut up. <laughs> we got to go to the Fallen, fallen Traveler first. We'll come back here. That's okay. We got plenty of goat juice to get around. Get up to the upper atmosphere. We'll take a little pulse jump if we have to. There we go. There we go. So we have to just deal with the mountains temporarily until we can find a better spot. So what we're looking for, if you look at your radar at the top, you're looking for that yellow icon that shows a triangle. So we're in a, we're in a area that it might be located in, probably right around here in one of these flat spots. Yeah, that's just a little place. Let me just check over here. Yellow icon with the triangle. Basically, it's not a triangle. It's more like a diamond shape. It's a gravestone is what we're looking for. Sort of like those symbols a little bit, but yellow. We're going to hit a mountain. Oh, we didn't hit it. Isn't that nice? All right. Might be down lower. Let's go around the mountain here. We'll be coming around this mountain. Around the mountain. Okay, enough of it. We need some rhymes now. Oh, look at that. Nice. We're searching. Alright, what we may have to do is we may have to get out of our ship here, unfortunately, and search on our own. Okay. We are not finding anything here. Oh, no kidding. Seriously? Well, they apparently have disappeared. Alright, let's land on top over here and we'll take another look. Be funny if we landed right next to it, right? Oh, you know what that was? Somebody was attacking plants and aggravated the um, sentinels on the planet. And you probably saw that in my last episode. Uh, let's see. It's over that way, huh? Okay. It was, well, probably was on one of those lower plateaus. Yep, it's over that way. Let's let us recharge for a moment, because we're going to have to go down a little ways. Yep, it's probably right in there. Okay. Hey, buddy. Watch the radar at the top. You should see it. See, I think I can even see it in the distance. There it is. That's what we were looking for. You know, I knew it was in here, but it wouldn't show it to me. All right, pull our ship in. Snagged around the ankles, piercing thorns, completely unaware. We reduced the numbers. 
he died. <laughs> it seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout the location. Scout to locate the hazardous flora. Let's leave. Okay. So that's what we got. Now we can go after the hazardous flora. Now, you see, it's going to point us in directions to find plants. But let me show you a little something here. You've got caves. You know what caves have in them, don't you? Not just cobalt. Not just the mallow bulbs. Uh, marrow. Marrow bulbs. Marrow. 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 Marrow it is. But you're looking for those ugly little plants that always attack you and release the gases. Not these guys. Though those are handy if you like to collect those. There they are. See those? Look how many there are. That's one. Two. And those count towards your hazardous floor. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. We just got eight out of ten in one swell foop. Look at that. Nine. We just need one more. Are we indoors or outdoors? Looks like we're indoors. Okay. Oh, and there's one right there. Look at that. Ten. <laughs> so, there you go. And if you search around inside the cave, you'll probably find more. See, there's another one right there, actually. See? So, take a look around, you'll find them. Caves are a great place to find these things. So, all right, let's get out of this cave system here. And we are already done with the whole the whole mess here. Um, what is that, a bat? The bird caught in a cave, what do you know? Two of seven. All right. Well, I'm not really going to worry about it. We got some heat. Now, the hot weather that you get on these planets, as long as you have a good shield, that comes in very handy because basically while you're in that heat, you're, if you look down at the bottom right, you'll notice that the um, jetpack can go for a very long time without having to recharge. Look at that. Think I can make it to space? It is taking forever to drop. Let's see how high I can go. Probably going to end up with a wind event. Watch. And die like Delta. <laughs> I've never died in a wind event. I don't know how that happens. I mean, I usually I keep my jetpack charged up and made sure it's not a problem. But... Okay, looks like... This is just about it. There we go. Down we go. Ah. You're going to be falling for a while. you got to keep adjusting your camera or you, else you get hurt. And you're not going to die here. But if you're in, like, permadeath mode, yeah, you'll have problems. What's up, buddy? So this only took us about 13 minutes, even though I screwed up. I'm not going to mess with the Sentinels this time. I know everybody likes to see that. But we'll go ahead and call it here. So there we go. That is literally the entire mission. So, not bad. We got very fortunate to land near a cave here. So let's go ahead and pull in our Nexus. Anomaly. I keep saying Nexus. Nexus is an item inside the Anomaly. It is a spot inside the Anomaly that you get your missions from. So, see, it says return to the Nexus to receive your award. We're actually in the Anomaly. We have to return to the Nexus that's inside. You know, you get it. I don't have to explain it anymore, right? Weatherwolf69, nice to see you. Oh my, hey, good parking space. Could have used that during the, uh, uh, yeah, never mind. Expeditions, right. Anyway, moving along, moving along. Gonna let that go. ETSD, it's all right, we'll be fine. All righty, here we go. And we're back at the Nexus. Gotta hit the right button. And there we go, on a mission, we're gonna complete it, and we get our reward. Thank heavens, because we were running low on Quicksilver. Okay, good deal. So we've got... This is our exosuit, right? All kinds of junk in our inventory. Anyway, um... We got some repair kits. You notice it didn't show up on my inventory here, because if you go to my starship, I've got repair kits already here. So now I'm up to 12. That's always nice to have. Got a lot of stuff to sell out of my inventory. Got to take care of that. All right, and let's go over here. I think I already picked up the Tier 1 unit. So let's go ahead and just grab this. Weatherwolf is there. He's at the guy right now. Sometimes you gotta kinda move around a little bit to get linked up with the Quicksilver dude. Who else we got here? As Karen. Very nice. And who are you? Beanhead. Beanhead 200. Good to see you. Thank you very much for stopping into the anomaly. 
Now I could just, you know, kick out of here and let these guys go, but I'm not going to do it. I don't want to group up with you, that's not why I'm here. Yep. Usually if more than two, if you have three people already um, inquiring of the of this guy here, you have a hard time getting locked in on him. They, oh, I almost had him. There we go. All right, and we go, we go to number one. Create a quick silver. See, uh, the hologram blob has been unlocked. I'm going to go ahead and get it. It's 1,500. I am not sure what the big deal is about it, but we'll find out in just a minute. Um, and then these are going to unlock in the upper tiers. I'm kind of looking forward to this one. I don't mind a starship or a frigate holding that over your head, but the, but the system, that looks like it would be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. All righty, so we're done there. I just went into first-person mode. Sorry, I did it again. Oh, my gosh, what a day. So there we go. So that is it. What does that item do? Let's find out, shall we? I'm believing you put it in your exosuit. I don't see it in there. But I purchased it. Purchased it? Is that a real word? I don't think you created here. Maybe it's something you place on your... Let's see. Nope. Utilities, maybe? Interesting. That's a new item. I didn't know you could disable your Minotaur AI remotely. I've been uninstalling the part to disable the Minotaur AI. Now that I know you can do it here, that's going to come in really handy. Very interesting. All right. So I'm not sure exactly how this works. We're going to actually give this a shot. Let me head over to my ship. We're going to go back to our, to our system here. Our original system. Oh, very nice exotic. Very pretty. Yeah. Ooh, pink. Wow, look at that. It's like a Pepto-Bismol pink, though. I don't think I like that very much. It's okay. I'll take my raptor. It's a little meaner looking. And for a hunter-killer, yeah, that's what you need. This will take us back to our system, hopefully not into the middle of a battleship royale. Let's see what we got here. And what I'm going to try to do is I'll actually land in my... Uh, on my freighter. We'll take a look at it. Okay, no battles. Summon freighter. Boom. Here we go. Oh good, we're going into the quiet. we go. Let's get to a buildable area and just see if this is what we're talking about, because uh, I'm not sure. I thought it was the hologram that you hold over your hand or something like that. So now that we're in a buildable area... Okay, get out here a little bit. Let's see what we got. Mm, got some posters. That's nice. Lots of posters. Got a lot of work to do on those. Uh, let's see. Crystallized drone... Aquatic Colony, Strip Coral, very good. Statue. All my glitches. I said glitches, GL. Let's clean channel here, folks. Uh, products and parts. I have yet to build a, a holographic friend. That's interesting. I need Gecknip for that. I don't think I have any with me. I'm going to have to look into that. I know I've got a crop of it someplace. Uh, let's see. Nope, I don't see it there either. Holographic blob. Interesting. So, again, I don't think you can... No, starship... Nothing there. Okay, so it's not a starship item. Very, very interesting. So we've acquired it. It's not something that gets placed into our inventory, but it is something we can make or devise. Something we... Oh, I wonder. There it is. 
There it is. Did you see it? And there you go. That's how you find it. It's one of your gestures. Well, okay then. So you can just sit there and you just kind of hand and he kind of holds it in his hand, kind of like the, some of the people you see on start on uh, stations and stuff like that, holding it out. Very nice. And it goes away when you walk. Okay, well, good to know. Well, there you go. Now you know how the holographic blob works. Excellent. Well, I'm hoping you, you enjoyed the video and you learned a little something as I have. So you learned something about that particular mission is that you do have to head to that specific spot, land, and check out the Fallen Traveler before you can start your mission. Best place to go is caves if you have any around you on the planet. And, uh, well, basically that's about it. So... If you have any comments you'd like to make, drop them in the comment section. I always respond to comments. If you have any ideas that you'd like to see a video made of in regards to No Man's Sky or something that you'd like to uh, uh, have explained to you or shown to you in No Man's Sky, please drop me a comment. Let me know. Uh, I am a by-demand person in regards to those videos, and I look forward to showing you all how to do certain things. Again, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. This is Lon Paul signing off.